then really the true successful person will be that person that when on the day of Hashar resurrection when he'll come out of the grave and he'll have the the sign of success, forgiveness in his hand. Say subhanallah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Say again subhanallah. That's it. This is the message. This is the one message. We don't understand this point. Wakes up from his grave when he gets up from his grave. Fortunate and lucky will be that person that in this world Allah will have given him an opportunity to gain forgiveness and he will have uh, 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 attained forgiveness in this world. Allah is merciful. Allah is the one with the grace and His favor. He wants to forgive. There are opportunities beyond opportunities that unfold in front of a person. In the heavens, an angel announces. In the, an- in the heavens, the angel announces. And when the angel announces from its tongue, then every particle of the universe hears that call of the angel. The fish in the sea hear this. And those people who's that, about which this angel is speaking, the fish in the, in the sea recognize that, those individuals. Because this announcement has come from Allah. If a king was to announce that this person, give him this, that give him some uh, amount, every person will know that, for example, Bolton, that the, the king is announcing, so if Allah, the king of the universe, is announcing something, then will the creation not know? Whilst walking, the particles, the atoms, oh, this is the man about whom it's been announced, they'll respect you. Ihtaram in the dunya. Animals will respect that person. The birds will respect the trees, the leaves, the bow. Submit. This is that individual about whom Allah, Lord of the universe, has announced. Announced what? For this gathering. Yes, Allah could, uh, will say that, listen, there's an announcement for Allah. Allah has forgiven all of you. Subhanallah. Yes, Allah Ta'ala says, Tabaddal, that all the uh, uh, sins have been changed into hasanat. Allah has transformed them into good deeds. Subhanallah. So has Allah Ta'ala not given us an opportunity? He has, hasn't he? Forgiveness has been attained then, isn't it? If you die, then Allah will give you the people of wisdom. Who will they be at that time? Where will you see them? Subhanallah. On the plane of resurrection, on the day of judgment. And they will be sat on big thrones of jewels, of beautiful jewelry. So beautiful they will look, and their faces will be shining like the moon on the fourteen. Allah will say, "Hada ulil al bab." Subhanallah. These are the people. Why? Because morning and evening they did my dhikr. This was their occupation. If they sinned in the night. You got forgiven in the morning. If they sinned in the day, you got forgiven in the night. Yes, because this is the way to forgiveness. And the amount of sins he committed in the night when he came in the morning to my halakha lessons, my gathering that I established, it was my gathering, my remembrance morning and evening, Allah will say. That if he is sinning in the night, overcomes in the morning and is assembled in the gathering, soon as he did dhikr, all the sins were transformed into good deeds. This is a hadith. So the person who is lazy, no, 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 no. Oh, why should we have to do dhikr? This is dhikr as well, what I'm doing. That's dhikr as well. My brother, 